official that that came wanting to use it to show appreciation you taught me mathematics and he rejected 1.3 million appointment and all that goodies and said no cannot leave this school I came in here on account of what the, or, or what the, or what, or what her daddy has has been saying I judicioned my previous employment and I came in here and I cannot be among the people that make him sorrowful that is the action of those that have seen now Jesus Christ was one when they brought him the meal master eat he said I have meat to eat which you know not of my meat is to do the will of him that sent me that was to tell you the value and the premium you place under something finally how do you what do you do to put premium on something what do you do Does this kind of mind, listen to me, this kind of mind will just come from, uh, from nowhere frrr, and hit your heart? Is that how it comes? Answer me now. It doesn't come that way. It doesn't come that way. Let me, let me tell you how it comes. And if you follow this thing, it will come even today. You begin to see that you have a different mind. How does it come? You need to take your time to think on the something. You need to take your time to think on the something. You need to take your time to think of uh, the invaluableness. You need to contrast it. You need to compare it. Did you see that I said I needed to see it and to compare this thing that I'm pursuing, this academic pursuit that was, that was legitimate, and this other one, which one? Which one? Which one is higher? Which one has eternal dividend? Which one will please God more? That was what I was considering. And uh, as I considered, I said it is this one. So I don't need prayer. I didn't pray prayer. And I did what I did. You need to consider the ministry that we have received. As you are considering Isaiah 45, 5 and 6, and you are comparing it to the other people's ministry. As you are considering the dedication of uh, other people, even in the ministry, as you are considering what this person did, you say, shy. This person can stand as a judge against me in the day of judgment. Look at what somebody did. Look at the, 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 the line of action somebody took for ministry. Now, wow. Where do I stand? And then, your eyes will begin to open, surely. As you are considering the messages, as you are looking at, 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 at the man of God, you say, you, you heard what I shone down today? What could have made me to stand immovable? Not thinking one day of moving back, backsliding, despite the horror. What? Because I have known that this thing is, this thing is invaluable. That is, you cannot quantify the value of the ministry that I am pursuing. It is clear in my conscience. You cannot tell me any other thing that is meaningful to me. You cannot tell me I build you a house and it will mean anything to me. Are you hearing me? Go and ask my children. I tell them I don't owe you house. I don't owe you. I don't owe you money. I don't owe you land. You know that I don't have. In the village, even the lands that belong to me, I jettison them. Because my uncle you know, wants to take all. I say, take simple take even if he dies tomorrow listen to me and then anybody comes to tell me to share from the land and i lie if i didn't share from it when he was alive i cannot when he goes i'm not interested 
You say eccentric man? Yes. Why? Ministry of a washman. And he has paid off. It was because of how we took it that we died the 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 religious system that nobody can die in this world and get away with it. In 1990, do you know what will have happened? 1990, we are planning to go for the usual, usual December meeting. And now, there was a scheme against me and against our elders. Because they have challenged the Bishop of Olo and said, in your domot, you allow these things to be happening by these people. They have written in the newspaper and asking the Bishop's Conference of Nigeria what they are doing with this man called Aloysius Chukwemeko Honebo. And the newspaper is with me till today. The leader newspaper. And I knew that there was danger. But he knew, but I knew that what I was holding cannot be crushed. And I told you the brethren. So that 1990, suddenly, while we were preparing, I didn't know that anything was hushed. I said the meeting will no more hold generally. We hold the meeting in the locations. Not knowing an arrangement has been made with the police. But as soon as we arrive, they will come and pick me up. And pick our elders up. And go and detain us for the period of the meeting. So there will be no meeting. So later on, somebody that knew about it was asking one of our elders who told you of our arrangement the brother was reminding me of that yesterday who told you of our arrangement and i said wait well, if you people had an arrangement we didn't know our leader said suddenly that there is no meeting this year on this note then he told him what was planned. We came thus far because of the value, the premium a men and women put in this ministry. And some of them lost their lives in the process. And they have done the foundation and they have established it, even with their blood. And there is no more any, any need of shedding blood. Listen to me. Nobody is disturbing Washman anymore. Yeah. Of course. Of course. If I should mention, I tell you, one of them, one of the priests is my friend. He used to come and tell me everything. The thing that Bishop would do him, he come and tell me. <laughs> Listen to me. Just last December, my uncle told me, one of our town's boys, young people, became a priest. He's a priest now. I don't know where he went. And then he was returning overseas. I don't know whether it was Canada or where. He traveled. And he came out and they were inter interrogating him or something. I don't know what happened. And then he told them that he's a, he's a reverend. And then they asked him from where? Nigeria. And which part of Nigeria he mentioned. And they asked him whether you know Pastor Hannibal. He said he's, he's my village person. And he said they gave him such a great honor. And this priest came to my uncle in December and said, can you see the honor I received through our brother? Just the other day, he told me that. Priest. My uncle, he came to tell my uncle because my uncle is cat -kissed. So right now, 
At Ahira, when they see the deer over there, they stand and check him. You didn't know what happened in Benu Estate the other day. I told you when one of our sisters died, and then the senior sister is a member of this government, big person, commissioner, and then he brought all the big wigs to the burial. And then our brethren were in charge of the burial, the preaching, and everything carried charismatic signs and bundles and went there. And uh, the present bishop of uh, Makode Diocese was in the burial. And after all the thing that was done, he came to our same pastor and shook him and said, God bless you. God bless your ministry. And uh, the Dansan pastor gave him bundles of charismatic signs. And he took it away. The people that have labored and were brought, I was, I'm trying to prove that the foundation has been laid. You have no cause to fear. People have been imprisoned before, but those times are over. They were imprisoned in Joss for this name, Watchman, Catholic, Charismatic, Renewal Movement. I said they detained them in the police station, the DPO. Now, and they called me here. And then I told the same pastor, go to the DPO and explain Catholic to him. Tell him the meaning of Catholic. That Catholic is not anybody's trademark. That what the system registered was Roman Catholic mission. So the Catholic there, Anybody can say Catholic anything. Their own is Roman Catholic mission. That there is no, we have not uh, impersonated any person. And he went and explained the matter to the DPO. The DPO said what? Come on, open the door for these people to get away. <laughs> and that's how the people that have been in prison for three days were released. Now this time, who is disturbing you? Now, this is the time to be appreciative. You are, you are standing on the foundation of some people. And uh, if you want the thing to carry on, then you must have uh, the awareness. I've told you how to have the awareness. And that is the, that's the end of my ministration. I sign out. The future things are the things that must be when, the, when you have put premium. There are things that must be. There are the things that are going to follow. Time is out so that we need to leave this session. Let's stand up. If you had God's word, tell yourself I had God's word. If this is a message indeed, if this is revelation message, tell yourself, I have gotten something. I, I had revelation message. If you have gotten information, tell yourself that you have gotten information and tell it to heaven. Tell your mind, I have gotten information. What lack I yet? I lack putting great value. I like putting premium. That's what I lack. That's what we have lacked. That's why we have been crawling. But today, Lord, I refuse that lack. The man came arrogantly in self-confidence, self-conceit. What like I yet?
when you have this thing they will not beg you to do your work and to do it conscientiously to do it result orientedly you are working church that pastoral work you are doing or that home home fellowship that you are coordinating or that follow up card that is in your hand or the single ministry that you are involved in nobody will beg you and nothing can be in your way see whom him whom the lord has chosen there is none like unto him among the people see even a ministry which the lord has chosen and there is no one like it among the ministries a ministry that is comparable to that of john the baptist What you should be saying is from today lord from today lord from today lord from today lord i cannot afford to carry this leprosy i cannot afford to take this thing lightly even this ministry at all What lack I yet? As the rule, that is the way of those that make it to heaven. Those that make it to sanctification. What lack I yet? And they will seek to know. And the Lord, one way or another, will reveal it unto them. If you are not asking that question you are going nowhere I want to hear you pray God wants to hear you pray earnest prayer you put premium on the thing that you have been given you can't go against it you can't go against it you can't go criticizing it you can't go discouraging people
You'll be telling yourself, see where, see where I found myself. See where I find myself. See the kind of ministry. Oh God, thank you very much. See where I find myself. See where I find myself. See the incomparableness of where I find myself? See what the Lord Jesus said concerning John the Baptist and see what he says concerning the ministry that is equivalent to John the Baptist's ministry. Uh -huh. You will be saying, so this is where I find myself? And you begin to repent of, uh, of the attitude of times past. Did you see water? This vision has given to somebody. Did you see it? Did you see it? What it I yielded a teacher? I keep telling you people from time to time. If you already, if you already have seen the 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 worth of the ministry. And the invaluableness of it. And it's affecting you. Let it affect you more. See it more and more. Don't let anybody discourage you. If anybody tells you I'm taking it too much, get away from the person. Don't make the person a friend anymore. Because he's wanting to keep you away from the ultimate. From the great things that lie ahead of you. With the Lord as a earmarked. Hallelujah. I thank you, Lord. 